What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show here today. We have the Chicago Cubs coming to town. And uh, it's kind of ironic because after I get done uploading this, I'm going to be going to St. Louis to watch the Cardinals and Cubs play down there. So, yeah. Let's see what we can do to rough up the Cubs here. And, uh, yeah, bottom of the second, no score, nobody out, nobody on. Jamison Tyon on the mound for the Cubs. He hits 96 on the four-seamer, 91 on his cutter, 96 on the sinker as well. First pitch of the at-bat from him. Ooh, cutter on the inside corner just above the knees. It's called a strike. Oh, and one the count. It's a good spot for that pitch. Second one. Got me checking my swing on a sweeping curve. Yeah, there was a big update for the game. Almost a full gigabyte that I had to do before I could do this this morning. The two-strike pitch is up above the zone. One and two the count. Next pitch. 12-6 curve outside, and it's a 2-2 count here in the bottom of the second. But as I was saying, yeah, there was that update before I could play today. And, uh, yeah, well, apparently it did not uh, take away the check swings. Four-seamer just off the inside corner on the 2-2 pitch. And that's fouled away. We still have a 2-2 two and two count. Next pitch from Tyon. Blowing away with a 12-6 curve. It's a full count. Could it be I could earn a walk? I mean, I probably could have if I wouldn't have kept swinging at stupid pitches, but... Ooh, four-seamer just above the zone on the outer third, and it's first base for free after making him burn quite a few pitches to make it happen. <clears throat> Bottom of the fourth, we come back. Cubs are leading one to nothing. Nobody out, nobody on. Jamison Tyon still towing the rubber for the Cubs. First pitch of this at-bat. Inside with the cutter, one and oh, the count. Second pitch from him. Ooh, good four-seamer there. Just a smidge behind it, fouled it away. And the count is now one and one. Pitch number three. Ah, oh, we pop up a four-seamer. Is it going to get out of play? Yeah, it's going to land in the dugout. Yep. One and two the count as that one got out of play, thankfully. Next pitch, up above the zone with the cutter. Two and two the count. We're making Tyon work on the mound today. Come on, big fella. Hot shot right to the first baseman. Line out to Pete Alonzo. How about that, huh? Good contact, good rip. Bad direction. Top of the fifth, we come back. Still a 1-0 lead for the Cubs. Kyle Tucker at the plate. He's 0 for 2 on the day, but hitting 298 on the season. He's got himself an 0-2 count with one out and nobody on with Ryan Nelson on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Simple pop-up for me. Just got to backpedal a couple of steps here. And there we go. That's out number two here in the top of the fifth. <clears throat> Man, I, oh, I got a frog in my throat or something here. Holy cow. Top of the fifth again, Pete Alonzo at the plate now. He's 0 for 2 on the day as well. And he's got an 0-1 count in this at-bat against Ryan Nelson. Let's see if we can retire the side here. Oh, yeah, ground ball right to me. Throw to first will be in plenty of time. And we're heading on to the bottom half of the fifth inning, still trailing the Cubs by a score of 1 to nothing. Yeah, and bottom of the sixth, we come back. Cubs are now leading 4 to nothing. And I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day. Uh, Jamison Tyon still toeing the rubber. He's throwing pitch number 74 of his outing here. And there's a good shot into right center field. This one's going to be extra bases. Oh, yeah, baby. Especially because it bounces over the wall and into the pool. So that's a guaranteed double right there. And we'll take that any old day of the week. Bottom of the eighth, we come back. Cubs are leading 4-2 to two now. Nobody out, nobody on. Hector Neris is on the mound for the Cubs now out of the bullpen. He hits 95 on his four-seamer, 95 on the sinker, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch. Oh, splitter got me. Swing and a miss for 0-1 as that one was just above the knees but right down the middle of the plate. Second pitch of the at-bat from him. There's a little blooper into right field. We'll take it. It's a two-hit game for me to start this series. I don't know. I hate to say it. It's either the update or I'm just in that good of a mood because I know I'm going to be going and watching baseball live. Just, I don't know. 
Something's working today, and I like it. Bottom of the ninth, we are tied at four runs apiece. One out runner on first. This is the time to walk it off, boys and girls, or at the very least get that runner to third. Yency Almonte is a man on the mound for the Cubs out of the bullpen now. He hits 97 on the sinker, 98 on the four seamer, 90 on a circle change, only 86 on the slider. And there is that slider at the knees right down the middle of the plate. Swing and a miss makes for an 0 and 1 count. Had me a good bit out in front of that one. Second pitch is a circle change, still out in front of it. Got a piece of it and fouled it off, and we're looking at an 0 and 2 count in a hurry here in the bottom of the ninth. Next pitch. Swing and a miss at a sinker off the inside corner. Oof, three pitches, three strikes, and back to the dugout I go with a K next to my name. The Diamondbacks do end up walking it off. Five to four, the final score here in game number one. We'll take that any old day of the week. All right, let's move on to game number two here and see what we can do. And you know what this means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Top of the first, we come into it. No score currently. Runner on first, nobody out for Seiya Suzuki. He's hitting a whopping 429 so far this season. Must not have had too many at-bats. He's got one RBI and no home runs. So, yeah, can't be a very big sample size there. He's got an 0-2 count against Luis Severino. And uh, let's see what the 0-2 pitch gets us here. Easy double play ball, baby. We got that showtime. Perfect. There's the stop. Throw's going to go to second. Five, four, and three. We turn the double play on the showtime. I like it. All right, let's move on here. It's the bottom of the first. Justin Steele is on the mound for the Cubs, throwing a whopping three pitches to get the first two outs as I'm batting third in the order today. There's nobody on, and let's see what I can do with this boss battle challenge against him. Uh, hitting a home run? Probably not. Uh, contact swing for a hit? Not my deal. So we're going to do the only swing of pitches inside the zone. No hit required on this one, although Justin Steele does throw a 94 mile an hour four seamer, 95 on the sinker, 90 on his circle change, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch from the left-hander is inside with the slider, 1 and 0 oh, the count to start this at bat. I'm already at 29 home runs on the season. Holy mackerel. Ah, oh, there's a swing and a miss at a four-seamer above the zone. So much for the dynamic challenge. And we have ourselves a one-and-one one count. And a four-seamer actually in the zone. Got a piece of that one and popped it up into center field. Lazy fly ball there. And that's going to be the end of the first inning. We're going to move on to the second. Still no score here in Arizona. All right, bottom of the fourth. The Cubs have come alive on the bats. Wow, seven to nothing lead for them. One out, nobody on for me as I'm standing in for the second time against Justin Steele. First pitch of this at bat from the left-hander is going to be outside with the four-seamer. One and oh, the count. I've scored 63 runs on the season so far, and that's second on the team. Holy cow. Next pitch is a sinker on the outer third towards the top of the zone, sent out to deep right field. Right fielder's running back, and it's not coming back. That one drops into the bullpen out there. I like it. I like it a lot. Home run number 30 on the season. How about that? Only 92.8 miles per hour off the bat. But uh, just enough to get it over the wall, and that's what counts. It's a 7-1 to one ball game now after that long ball. We come back. It's the bottom of the sixth. 11-1 to one is now the score. What in the heck has happened here? Two outs and nobody on for me as I'm standing in for the third time against Justin Steele. First pitch of this at-bat from him. It's another shot into deep right center field. That's going to get down for extra bases. Does not hop over the wall. It just bounces off the top of the wall. We're going for three. What the heck? Oh, they got me a third. Dang it. That's what I get for believing the thing on the top of the screen there. It said, go three, go three, go three. Yeah, no. Didn't work out so well for me on that one. Bottom of the ninth, we come back. Cubs are leading 15 to 1. Runner on first, nobody out. I'm standing in two for three on the day. Justin Steele still on the mound, throwing pitch number 89 of his outing here. Ooh, shouldn't have swung at that slider off the outside corner, but we did get a piece of it and foul it off. Oh, and one is the count for me here. Second pitch of the at bat. 
Gripped and ripped into left center field. So long, baseball. No chance of that one coming back as that one lands over top of the scoreboard out there. Second home run of the game for me. And this one's a two-run shot. So I've now got 31 home runs on the season. And I'm responsible for driving in all three runs for the Diamondbacks here. Still got a long way to go if we're going to try to make a game of this in the bottom of the ninth. So I don't think we're going to win it. Oh, uh, no, we do not. 15-3 to three is the final score. At least I was a bit of a stud in that one with a 3-for-4 day at the plate. Unfortunately, not enough to power the team past 15 runs. Holy cow. Well, let's move on to game number three, though, shall we? And see who can win the rubber match of this three-game series. Apparently, the Cubs are a bit stronger than I was expecting here. Top of the first, nobody on, nobody out, no score. Full count for Pete Crow Armstrong. He's got a 210 batting average. Wow, that's really low, given that he's got 12 stolen bases and scored 32 runs. But here we go, payoff pitch on the way here from Brandon Fott with the first batter of the day. Let's see if we get a simple ground ball or what. And PCA hits one down the line. We'll scoop that up and throw across. Easy play. One away here in the top of the first. <laughs> two batters later with Seiya Suzuki hitting out of the number three hole in the lineup. And two outs and nobody on. Still no score. And Suzuki still hitting a 417 clip here. Apparently he hit a home run yesterday because he's got a home run now and he didn't in the previous game. 0-2 pitch to him. Is bunted down the third baseline. That's a... Not the best bunt, but he's speedy. We still got him at first, though, so we're going to move on to the offensive side of things here in the first inning. And we're starting off with a boss battle challenge already. Two outs and nobody on here, as I'm going to be facing off against Joe Musgrove out of the number three hole in the lineup. And uh, my options are double or better, home run or draw a walk. Let's go for the double or better. I don't think I'm going to draw a walk against him. He does hit a 95-mile-an-hour on the four seamer, 92 on his cutter, 90 on the circle change as well. First pitch of the at bat. Ha! Swinging at a slider, low and away. How about that? Trying to be a stud here, it ain't going to happen. Not with pitches like that. 0 oh, and 1 the count now. And another pitch is a four seamer off the plate away at the knees. We take that one for a ball though. 1 and 1 the count. Pitch number 3. Hot shot to the first baseman. Oh, and it eats him up. We're going to beat that out. It's an infield single. It's not a double or better, but hey, it is a base hit, so we will take it. Top of the second we come back. Still no score. Nobody out, nobody on. 1-2 count for Pete Alonzo, who's only hitting 226 on the season, but he's driven in 67 runs so far to lead the ball club. How about that? 1-2 pitch on the way from Brandon Fott. Come on, big guy. Simple ground ball down the line. We'll scoop it up, throw a cross, because Alonso is not fast at all over there. And that is out number one in the top of the second. Bottom of the third, we come back. Cubs are leading three to nothing in this one. Runners on first and second. Nobody out for me as I'm standing in one for one on the day. Joe Musgrove still on the mound. The first pitch from him is way above the zone with the cutter. One and oh the count here to start this at bat. Of course, they got a pop up there that I've grounded into 13 double plays here. Let's see what the 1-0 pitch from Musgrove is going to be. Line drive out into center field. I don't know if that's going to be deep enough to advance the runner to third, but a guy can dream. Well, he's going to make a break for it. The throw comes in, but it is offline. We now have runners on the corners with only one out here in the bottom of the third. Top of the fifth, we come back. It's a 3-2 ball game with the Cubs still leading. Two outs and nobody on for Alexander Canario. He's 0 for 1 on the day, only hitting 174 on the season. Oof, that's rough, dude. 0 and 2 is the count for him here with Brandon Potts still on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Wind up and the pitch, and it's bunted down the third baseline. This is a slow roller. Hmm. Pitcher picks it up and throws it over to first to retire the side. Way to go, Brandon. So, uh, yeah, that's going to make it uh, still a 3-2 ball game. And we're going to come back bottom half with me leading things off in the bottom of the fifth. Yep, here we go. One for two day at the plate for me so far. Six for ten on the series with a pair of dingers and three RBIs. Still a 3-2 ball game. Joe Musgrove still on the mound. First pitch of the at-bat from him. Oh, I swung at a curveball below the knees. 
out in front of it and somehow fouled it off. Oh, and won the count for me now. Second pitch of the at bat. See you later, baseball. It's a tie ball game. 3 3 after sending that one into the right field bleachers. And uh, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> I like the home run balls, apparently, in this one. So that's what? Home run number 32 on the season? Yeah, 98.4 off the bat, 387 feet to get it over the wall. Little show drone action. Uh huh. See you later, baseball. Uh, bottom of the seventh, we come back. Still a tie ball game, but it's 4 4 now instead of 3 3. I'm standing in 2 for 3 on the day. 7 for 11 on the series. Holy cow. Caleb Killian is the man on the mound out of the bullpen for the Cubs now. He hits 94 on his sinker, 93 on the cutter, 97 on the four seamer, and his curveball tops out a 79. First pitch is a sinker off the plate away. 1 and 0 oh, the count for me. Next pitch. Another long drive into deep right center field. Come on, baby. Get up, get up, get up. Two home run day as that one lands in the cheap seats behind the bullpen. It's another two home run game for me here. Wow. Number 33 on the season. Another one with an exit velo of 98.4 miles per hour. That seems to be the magic number for me in this one, huh? We come back, bottom of the eighth. It's a 7-4 lead for Arizona. Two outs and a runner on third for me as I'm 3-4 for four on the day and got the batting average up to a 296 now. Yancy Almonte is on the mound out of the bullpen now for Chicago. And I'm going to get a dynamic challenge against him. And uh, I don't think I'm going to hit a third home run, so we'll just try to only swing at pitches inside the zone and drive in the run. Almonte on the mound does throw a 90-mile-an-hour circle change. 98 on the four-seamer, 97 on the sinker, only 86 on the slider. First pitch is that slider at the knees, and it's a swing and a miss. Way out in front of that, and it's an 0-1 count now after not making contact. Second pitch, oh, tying me up and knots with the sinker inside. That was not another slider. Oh, my gosh. 0-2 the count for me now. And it's a swing and a miss at a slider at the knees to retire the side. Not a good at-bat. Three pitches, three swings. I think three misses, too, if I remember correctly. And it's a 7-4 to four lead for us heading into the top of the ninth. And the Diamondbacks take the win 7-4, to four, the final score. And we take two out of three from the visiting Cubs. I like that. I like that a lot. Three for five day at the plate for me. Eight for 13 on the series. That's insane. Definitely a big turnaround from uh, previous series. So I don't know if it's got something to do with the update that ran before I played today or what, but I will take it. Getting right back into that power column as, uh, yeah, we're going to be heading into the All-Star break here in the 2026 season. And since I'm going to be in St. Louis and I'm not bringing my PlayStation with me, we're going to have a couple days off here. I might upload something when I get home on Sunday night, but it's going to be pretty late in the evening. But that's all she wrote for this series. Therefore, it's the end of the episode. Therefore, I'm saying therefore a lot. So yeah, those of you that have made it this far, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun social media things. And I will see you in the next one.